couple of things uh, about the weekend. First of all, it was incredibly awesome to be at home uh, for only the second and third time this year. We had great support, a lot of fans out, uh, and uh, our kids really loved the opportunity to be there. I thought when you looked at the matches this weekend, uh, Bradley was probably actually one of the best matches that we played uh, this year from start to finish in terms of the execution. I've talked a lot about serve-receive offense up here, and one of our goals is to hit 65% uh, side-out percentage uh, during each set. And we were able to do that in Bradley uh, by quite a bit. I think it was in the 70s, 80s, and 90s um, for the side out percentage. So, did improve on that. Turn around and play Illinois State the next night, who uh, is one of the top teams in the league, picked third. And I, the downside of the weekend is coming out in that match, I thought uh, we were a little flat to begin with anyway, but as far as execution with the game plan, it was probably the poorest we had had uh, in terms of game plan, even from the very first weekend when I wasn't sure how much game plan we could give our kids. So the good side of that is we were able to turn that around. Uh, sometimes you get nervous about being able to, to make changes when you're flat and you're not executing things. We couldn't, didn't timeouts make any changes game plan wise because we weren't doing what we needed to do. So that second game, we ended up winning a really tight one, I think 26-24. Uh, even if we would not have won that set, I felt a lot better about how we were executing and then going into the rest of the match. So came out and had a great game three. I have to point that out because game three has been a little bit tough for us <laughs> throughout the season. So we had a really good game three uh, in all aspects. So I was really proud of that. And so very uh, happy that we could get uh, two home wins. On the road this week, I uh, don't know much about these two teams yet in terms of of what they do. We have seen them a little bit on film while scouting other teams, uh, but Indiana State's 3-1 and one right now. Uh, Evansville is 0-4, uh, but have played some teams close, uh, played some sets close, so we're looking forward this week to, to see what we have to do to prepare for those teams, but also, uh, again, the opportunity to get better on our side of the net as well. Any questions? Against Illinois State, after going into the locker room tied at one, you, you did come out and, and really handled them in that third set. A lot of adjustments or changes at halftime, or how much can you get done? In, in a halftime break. Yeah, it's interesting because I had several people say, what did you say between, and it really was nothing any different than what we do. And I think the biggest part is it was pretty positive because we were, um, we had made a change in game two. And even though the game was really tight, I thought we were doing things a lot better on our side. So it was a few minor adjustments and also uh, the conversation of we expect them to make these adjustments. If they do, this is what we'll do. So it was a lot of strategy, mostly strategy, because again, I felt we made the changes we need to, needed to going into that second game. Piper's been pretty good throughout the season, but what has it been the last couple of weeks where she's done just so well with Valley playing? Yeah, I think, you know, Piper for us, she's just at a whole different level this year. And, it you know, part of it's what she's physically able to do out there. But part of what she does takes a mental side, too. There's a lot of uh, things with blocking that are very mental that she's just improved on. And what I love about her is, I said this a little bit last week, how a lot of times you set your middles in perfect situations. And we're setting her in a lot of imperfect situations. And uh, the connection with her and Heather to be able to do that has been huge. Uh, she wants the ball. She's calling for the ball uh, in a lot of situations where normally we wouldn't set our middle. So very proud of her with that. She just has a different air, a different confidence about her this year. I would also like to, I don't point out a lot of individual performances, but I thought Bree uh, Weber had an amazing match against Illinois State. And I always talk about her and her production. She does so many things. She's, she serves well. She passes. She's in every serve receive rotation uh, passing. But her offense this weekend, she was just at a whole different level, just a different player. Uh, she hit the ball extremely extremely hard, uh, but was able to hit different shots that we haven't seen her be able to do. So would like to compliment her on that and just her growth as a player as well. With Indiana State off to the 3-1 and one start, is that a bit of a surprise or have they been a program that's been making a, a, a good comeback? Yeah, um, you know, they, they have made a lot of um, improvements over the years. The questions that we didn't have is they have a new coach this year, a brand new coach. So going into that, I thought, you know, Tracy did a great job building that program and getting it to a certain point and coming into this season didn't really know. That's why we're anxious to see what Indiana State does because you can't really rely on things from the past because they're a whole different team just because of the new coaching. So uh, it is a little bit of a surprise just because of their non-conference schedule. Um, but again, conference is a whole different beast and, and people are ready to go and your ability to uh, scout opponents to a whole different level I think has a big factor in that as well.
know there was a little bit of time on Saturday where Kate was up and at least doing a little bit of walking around. Is she anywhere close to getting it into practice and into volleyball condition? Yeah, she actually uh, gets to do a little bit on the court today, but um, again, you know, she's done nothing for a long time, for two months now, and so we have to really be careful. She's a kid that had a stress fracture last year, so we have to be really careful in how we bring her back and what she's able to do, but I think just physically be able to stand on the court is going to be really good for her and a good motivation for her, uh, but hopefully we'll get her to a point that she's going to be able to help us out this year. Do you miss the little bicycle ring on the scooter at all? I don't miss that at all, actually. <laughs> Our teammate, her teammates probably do, though, but I don't. <laughs> um, with Evansville, uh, are, are these, I know you don't know a lot about Indiana State, but are, are these two 